Hi everyone, my name is Kayleen and welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, please consider hitting the like button and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed my tutorial. This would mean so much to me and go such a long way to help me continue coming up with more crochet projects to share with you every week. And in today's tutorial, I will show you how to crochet this eyeglasses case using this beautiful version of the tulip stitch. It also has this cute 3D flower button which is not sewn on. It is crocheted directly into the work, which I really like because it is faster and looks neater than making the flower separately and sewing it on later. The case is just the right size for my eyeglasses. And it'll also perfectly work as a phone case for smaller phones like the iPhone 12 mini and the old iPhone SE or 5S. And the tulip stitch is not as difficult as it seems, I've made two already. It's completely made of double crochets, although I think it is more of an advanced beginner project. But if beginners want to try, then why not? So let's get started! For this project, you will need the yarn of your choice. I'm using a 4-ply milk cotton yarn, and you will need your crochet hook. I'm using a 2.5 millimeter hook and you will also need your stitch marker, a yarn needle, and your pair of scissors and I also recommend that you have your measuring tape. We're going to begin by making the base which we'll be working in the round. First I'm going to make a slip knot. And chain 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. 10 chains. Now I'm going to add two more chains. So 1 and 2. Now we're going to have a total of 12 chains, but the last two chains that we just added will count as one stitch. So now I'm going to start working into my chains. I'm going to put one half double crochet into the third chain from my hook. So not counting the loop on my hook, counting from the first chain under my hook. One, two, three that's the chain we're going to be working into we're going to be skipping these two chains and working into this chain so yarn over insert your hook into the third chain from the hook yarn over pull up a loop three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three loops Now you should have one half double crochet and the first two chains that we just skipped, which will count as one half double crochet. So I'm going to put my stitch marker at the top of those two chains because this is where we're going to be joining at the end of our round. Now I'm going to carry on and put one half double crochet into each of the next each of the following chains. I'm going to do eight more. I've made eight more half double crochets and now you should have one more chain remaining. And into this chain we're going to put in four half double crochets. And because we're going to be working around, we're going to be slowly rotating our work this way as we go. And you'll also want to hold down your yarn tail against your work as you go. We're going to be stitching over this yarn tail to hide it. So let's continue and I'm going to go ahead and put in four half double crochets into this last chain. 
so one two slowly rotating and going over your yarn tail three and four. I've done four half double crochets into that last chain and as you can see I've rotated my work and the stitches that we made earlier are now upside down and now we're going to be working into the opposite side of those stitches and we're going to be working into the remaining loop of our foundation chain right here and I'm going to go ahead and work my half double crochets into each of these stitches I'm going to do eight one in each stitch so let's continue one Remember holding down your yarn tail. Two. Three. Let me do my fifth one again. Five. Six. Seven. Now you should have one more stitch remaining here and into this stitch we're going to put in two half double crochets. So one and two and we've come to the end of our first round. And now all we have to do is to join with a slip stitch where we first put our stitch marker. So I'm going to go ahead and remove my stitch marker. Insert my hook. And do my slip stitch. There you go. We finished our first round. And as you can see, we've just made a small oval. Now let's begin our second round. What we're going to do now is we are going to turn our work and chain two. This will count as one stitch or one half double crochet and into the base of our chain which is right here we're going to put in one half double crochet so one half double crochet into the base of the chain there you go and then i'm going to put my stitch marker through the top of that chain too this is where we're going to be joining at the end of our round Okay, now in the, in the following two stitches, we are going to put in two half 
double crochets each. So two half double crochets in this stitch and two half double crochets into this stitch. So let's continue. One, two, and one, two. Now, in the in the next eight stitches, we are going to put in one half double crochet each. So, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Next, in the next four stitches, we are going to put in two half double crochets each. So two, 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 and two. That makes each eight half double crochets. So one, two, One and two, one, two, one, two. Now we come to the other side of our round. And as before, in the in the next eight stitches, we are going to put in one half double crochet each. So let's continue. One, two, three, four, Seven and eight. Now you should have one one more stitch remaining right here. And into this stitch we are going to put in two half double crochets. So one and two. We have come to the end of our second round and all we have to do now is to join with a slip stitch where we put our stitch marker. That's at the top of our chain two. Join with a slip stitch. And there you go. Now you have finished the second round and also finished the base of our eyeglasses case. And if you have done this correctly, you are going to have a total of 32 stitches all around, including your beginning chain 2. At this point, your oval base should be 6 centimeters long. We are about to begin crocheting from the base. So to begin our first round of this tulip stitch, we are going to first turn our work. Now the wrong side of our previous round is facing you. And this will be the outside of our eyeglasses case. So I'm going to fold this in half. And 
begin by chaining one. So chain one. Next, I'm going to put in one single crochet into the same place, which is right here. One single crochet. Next, I'm going to skip this stitch, skip one stitch, and put in three double crochets into this stitch. So three double crochets. to skip the next stitch and put in one single crochet into this stitch. So one single crochet. Now you can see that we've made one set of three double crochets in between two single crochets. And it looks like it looks like a, a shell. So I'm going to continue, skip one stitch, and put in three double crochets into the next stitch. One, two, three. Skip one stitch and put in one single crochet. Skip one stitch and put in three double crochets. So you see the pattern. You're going to repeat this all the way around and I will see you at the end of this round. I have come near the end of my first round and I have already done seven sets of three double crochets in between two single crochets. And now you should have three stitches remaining. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my last set of three double crochets into this stitch. So skipping this stitch, three double crochets into this stitch. of this round we are going to join with a slip stitch at the top of our first single crochet and that finishes off our first round and you will finish this first round with eight sets of three double crochets and to start our second round chain three one two, three. This will count as one double crochet. And we are going to put in one double crochet back into the same stitch. Now we have two double crochets. And I'm going to put my stitch marker through the top of that chain three. That is where we're going to be joining at the end of our round. Now, what we're going to do next is we are going to put a double crochet 
into the previous row, the previous round. And we are going to be working into the bottom of the first single crochet of the previous round. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook into the bottom of that single crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull up tight, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now you're not going to finish it. You're going to have two loops remaining on your hook. And now you're going to put another double crochet into the bottom of the next single crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into the bottom of that single crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull tight, yarn over, pull through two loops, three loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. Now you can see that you formed a triangle over your set of three double crochets and that is made of two long double crochets. Next we're going to put in three double crochets into the top of that single crochet. So it's right here. So three double crochets, one, two, and three. And you've just made another set of three double crochets. And now you're going to do another set of two double crochets together. So we're going to insert our hook into the bottom of that same single crochet. So it's the same stitch where that long double crochet is. So double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into the bottom of that single crochet yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull tight. And at this point, you will see that you've made, you formed a V at the bottom of this set of three double crochets. And that's our first two loop. So yarn over, pull through two loops. Two loops remaining on your hook, yarn over, and we're going to put our next double crochet into next single crochet. So into the bottom of that single crochet. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up tight, yarn over, pull through two loops, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops and you've just made another set of two double crochets together which forms a triangle above that set of three double crochets and again we're going to put in three double crochets into the top of this single crochet so one, two, and three. And again, let's do the next one again. Uh, yarn over, insert your hook into the single crochet where the last long double crochet is, yarn over, 
hold up a loop. And yarn over, pull through two loops, two loops on your hook, yarn over, and insert your hook under the next single crochet. Yarn over, pull up a loop, four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops, and you've just finished your second tulip. And just be just as before, we're going to put in three double crochets into that single crochet. going to repeat this all around and I will see you at the end of this round. I am nearly finished with my second round and I am on my seventh set of three double crochets and now you should have only one group of double crochets from the previous row left. So to finish off this round we're going to do our last set of two double crochets together, two long double crochets together. So yarn over, insert your hook into that last single crochet, and yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, and insert your hook into the first single crochet of the row below. That's where we only have one long double crochet coming out of. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And we are finished with our last set of two double crochets together. And when we began this round, we made a chain of three and one double crochet into the same place. And because this is supposed to be a set of three double crochets, we need to put in one more double crochet to complete the set. So I'm going to go ahead and yarn over and insert my hook into the bottom of that double crochet. yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull through two loops and two loops. And you'll see that uh, the last double crochet overlaps, kind of overlaps that beginning chain three. And what we're going to do now is we are going to join at the top of that chain three. So I'm going to remove my stitch marker and join at the top of that chain three. And we are finished with our second round. And to start our third round, I am going to chain one. And this time, we're going to be working backwards. So I'm going to put in, we're going to begin this round with our first set of two double crochets together. And the first double crochet is going to go into the middle of this set of three double crochets. So it's the set of three double crochets behind your hook in the row below. 
so I'll show you yarn over and insert your hook into the middle of the group of three double crochets which is the second which is the second double crochet and yarn over pull up a loop and you are going to pull through two loops and two loops on your hook yarn over and insert your hook into the middle of your set of three double crochets down below so it's the second double crochet so right here pull up a loop four loops on your hook yarn over pull through two loops three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three loops and we have finished our first set of two double crochets together and next we are going to put in three double crochets into the top of that long double crochet which is right here so three double crochets one two and three next we're going to do our next set of two double crochets together so yarn over insert your hook into that double crochet where that last long double crochet is yarn over pull through and pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops two loops on your hook yarn over and insert your hook into the middle of the next set of three double crochets in the row below so yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through all three loops and just as we did before we're going to put in three double crochets into the top of that long double crochet so one two and three And you're going to repeat this all around and I will see you at the end of this round. I am near the end of my third round and by now you may have noticed that every tulip in the row below has a triangle over it. And you make that triangle by doing two long double crochets together. And it is always followed by a set of three double crochets on top of a triangle below and this forms the petals of a tulip and because this tulip still only has one leaf we're going to give it another leaf by doing another triangle on top of this tulip down here and I've already finished my seventh set of three double crochets in this round I'm going to go ahead and do my last triangle this tulip and this tulip now has two leaves 
And this tulip right here still has no petals, so we will give it petals by doing three double crochets into the top of this triangle. So, one, two, and three. And you finish off this round by joining with a slip stitch into the top of the next triangle. And that finishes off our third round. The fourth round begins with a chain of three and a double crochet back into the same stitch. And you can see that the pattern repeats from here. You're going to do the same thing that you did, everything that you did in round two. The only difference is that in round two, you worked your long double crochets into the bottom of a single crochet. But in this round, you're going to work your long double crochets into first into the beginning chain three in this row below. And then into the next group of three double crochets. and followed by a group of three double crochets on top of that long double crochet. This forms the petals of another tulip. And the pattern repeats from here. And you will join this round the same way that you did in round two, and you begin the next round, round five, with chain one, which is the same as round three and the pattern repeats over and over again from here. So you will be repeating round four and round three over and over again. So you will continue doing round four and you will do another 11 more rounds. And go ahead and pause the video and I will see you at the end of round 15. I've worked my way up to the end of round 16. We should end with a double crochet into the bottom of beginning chain 3 and a slip stitch into the top of that chain. Now I am done with round 16. And at this point, my work is 12 and a half centimeters high. Now in our next round, in round 17, we're going to make our 3D flower button, which is going to be in the center. So, which means that you will have to work up to your third set of three double crochets to get there. So let's get started on this round and chain one. So we're going to do our first triangle. And on to the first set of three double crochets. Followed by a triangle. Second set of three double crochets. And another triangle. Now I am on my third set of three double crochets, but this time we're only going to put in two double crochets. And 
this is where we're going to put our flower. We're going to be working in between, into this space between these two double crochets. And to begin our flower, chain two. Now you're going to rotate your work sideways and fold it like this so that this double crochet is at the top. Now you're going to work in two double crochets into this space. So, one, two, chain one. And you're going to go back into that space and do a slip stitch. And you are finished with your first petal. And going on to the second petal, again chain two. And put in, again put in two double crochets into that same space. Chain one and slip stitch. And there you have two petals. And to make your third petal, this time you're going to rotate your work upside down. And you're going to use your thumb to hold down the first two petals and chain two. And now your, go your hook is going to go underneath the other double crochet into that, into that space. So two double crochets, one and two. Again, chain one and slip stitch into that space. We have three petals. Again, chain two. Two double crochets into the same space. Chain one and slip stitch. Now we have four petals and I want five petals so this time I'm going to rotate my work back to the same place and again chain two and put in two more double crochets into that space. Chain one and slip stitch. And our flower is finished. Now to continue, you're going to move your hook behind the flower and chain one. Then you're going to look for the top of that long double crochet to put in your last double crochet. So yarn over and it's that stitch over here. Insert your hook and go ahead and do that last double crochet. And you want to hold that flower down. And that completes that set of three double crochets. Now you're going to continue working your way around the way that you would normally do. So because we're coming from a set of three double crochets, we're going to make two double crochets together. So which means the first one goes into that group of three double crochets under the flower.
and two and into that other set of three double crochets and moving on to your next set of three double crochets and that's all there is to this round and you're going to continue working this round all the way around and I'll see you in the next round I am on my 18th round and in this round you're only going to be crocheting around the flower and I've already started my round with three chains double crochet and two double crochets together and a group of three double crochets so I'm going to move on and do my next set my next group of two double crochets so two double crochets together now you're going to do a set of three double crochets behind the flower so if you fold down the flower you'll see the top of that triangle so you're going to go ahead and do three double crochets as usual then you're going to do another triangle another two double crochets together so you're going to insert your hook into that group of three double crochets and then into the next set of three double crochets so which means you're going to make a triangle around the flower so yarn over insert your hook into that group of three double crochets pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops yarn over and insert your hook into the next group of three double crochets and there you've made a triangle over the flower behind the flower and you're going to continue like you would always do with three double crochets at the top of that long double crochet And you're going to work your way around like before and I will see you again in the next round I've worked my way around round 18 and now I'm on round 19 and I've already started round 19 with chain 1 and two long double crochets together and I've also already completed two sets of three double crochets so coming from a set of three double crochets I need to make my next set of two long double crochets together and as you can see in this round we're still going to be working around the flower so for this next set of two long double crochets together one of your long double crochets will go back into that same stitch where that last long double crochet is and I think you guessed it the other long double crochet will go right into that gaping hole behind the flower and that's your triangle and you will carry on to do three double crochets into the top of that long double crochet 
three double crochets now I need to make my next set of two long double crochets together and the first long double crochet goes back into that gaping hole and the next one goes into the next group of three double crochets in the row below That's all there is to this round and you will carry on working your way to the end of this round like you would normally do and then you will do only one more round of this tulip stitch so I will see you again at the end of round 20 we are almost finished I've just finished round 20 with a double crochet into the bottom of the beginning chain of three and a slip stitch into the top of that chain. Now you should have a total of 20 rows, 20 rounds of the tulip stitch counting from the very bottom up. And round 21 is where we'll be finishing off by making a strap to go over the flower. And that strap should be in the center, directly behind the flower. And in this case, it'll be on top of the seventh set of two long double crochets together, or the seventh triangle of the previous round. Now I will mark it with a stitch marker. So con to continue, in round 21, you will put a slip stitch into every single stitch until you get to the stitch marker. So a slip stitch into every single stitch. And you will continue doing this until you get to the stitch marker. I've worked my way up to my stitch marker. To make the strap, you will put in a slip stitch. Then I will chain 25. You can adjust the number of chains if you want, but I'm going to do 25. 2, 3, 4, 5. and I have 25 chains. When you're finished chaining, you will go back into that same stitch and put in another slip stitch. And there you have your button strap. Then you will continue slip stitching to the end of the round. And I have come to the end of the round. 
Now, when you've reached the end of the round, you cut your yarn about seven centimeters away from your hook. You're almost finished. And you will sew in the end of your yarn. Trim it up. And you are finished. And glasses case is now 16 centimeters high if you want to make yours bigger you can adjust the number of chains in the beginning just make sure you're chaining in multiples of four I started this one with 12 chains otherwise you can try working with larger yarn so thank you for crocheting along with me and I hope you enjoyed it Again, please like and subscribe to my channel and let's crochet together again every week. I will see you again in my next video.